So how can you use Thinkfinity just for yourself if you don't want to be social? You just want to look at your own content. It's actually very, very powerful. Let's go to our own profile. You can do that by clicking on your name at the top of the screen. When you see your profile, again, in previous videos we talked about changing your profile and changing your preferences. But in this video we're going to talk about this toolbar. What if I want to look at my own file cabinet? Now remember, the file cabinet here is infinitely large, so I can upload anything. Let's go look at my content of my file cabinet. We have page after page after page of things. I can narrow this down by saying, just show me my blog posts, or just show me my documents. These can be any kind of documents, Word, PowerPoint, Excel, PDF, etc. I can go back to all content, and then I can filter by type, or text, or tag. So, I know I took some notes. I took notes in class, I took notes in a meeting, etc., and there they are. Let's take a look now at my bookmarks. I'm sort of uh, very interested in internet content, all these wonderful educational links that are out there. And there's just too many of them because I've been bookmarking for years. I know I've got out one out there on Ford's Theater, Lincoln's Assassination, John Wilkes Booth. So I'm just going to search for Ford, and there it is. There's my uh, article and my link to the Ford's Theater virtual tour. If I need to know all of my fractions links, there they are. So there's my content, my content of my documents and, and uh, word processing documents and spreadsheets and presentations, and here's all of my bookmarks. Now the easiest way to create something new for yourself is to go to the Create button. With the Create button at the top of the screen, you can create blogs and bookmarks, you can upload files, etc., etc. And again, those, when you create them, will appear on your profile. Depending on your settings, your profile content could be just for you, or you could set it to open to just your friends, or you could open it to everyone in the world. So, if I'm working with young students, I'll make my content open, and I'll tag it with a secret word. And when they search for that word, all of it will show up, no matter who they are, no matter how old they are, and they'll be able to find that content.